Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I have a little bit of news regarding YouTube, where according to Android Authority, YouTube is developing a new feature that will allow you to adjust the audio quality while you are watching your YouTube videos. But obviously the catch with this is it looks like at this stage it's going to only roll out for YouTube Premium subscribers. Obviously this is YouTube's ongoing efforts to lure people over from the free version into the paid subscription um, service. So as you may well know, when a YouTuber uploads a video, the quality of the audio um, depends on the video uploader and viewers have no actual control over the audio bitrate. So as an example, if we just head into a video with part of your settings, you can control the visual quality, but not the audio quality. So this is what this is all about, and this could all be set to change. Now, according to the report, which by the way, I'll leave linked in the description, the upcoming upgrade will offer three adjustable audio quality options. And these will be listed as normal, high, and auto. So according to the discovered snippets, you will be able to select from the following options, auto, as mentioned, which will basically adjust the audio quality based on your internet speed, normal, YouTube standard audio quality, which according to the report is possibly the 128 kilobytes per second format, and then high, a higher bitrate option, which will potentially improve clarity. So those are the three different options. and. At this stage, though, it is possible that the options to select the audio quality may not be available for all videos. Okay, so it's going to be, um, according to the code in the actual app teardown, the code hints that it could be limited to select content. And the code also shows, according to the report, that selecting a higher audio quality stream could also mean that you will use more data, which obviously is expected. It's like if you increase your visual quality it'll eat more data it'll use up more data the same will happen with audio so this is an interesting one to watch and obviously at this stage all kind of indications are pointing that it's going to be rolling out exclusively for youtube premium and if you are a youtube premium user and obviously you are a audio file then I think this would be a step in the right direction, but it's still early days. And I said I'd keep you guys posted regarding different um, YouTube updates and so on. And if I get in more info, I'll let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.